Reddit, being one of the largest social media platforms in the world, serves as this massive collection of community forums where people share content, have discussions, and vote on what they find interesting or helpful. If you're unfamiliar with Reddit, Reddit is an online community platform founded in 2005 where users can share and discuss almost any topic imaginable. With 97 million daily active users, Reddit has become a key space for companies to host Ask Me Anything sessions, engaging directly with consumers and gathering feedback to refine their products or services. For the average user, it's a place to ask questions, find answers, and connect with others who share similar interests. And with the Reddit MCP, we can have Cloud to analyze post titles and comments in real time to identify emerging topics or viral trends, predict the sentiments of comments in product or tech-focused communities, track sudden spikes in discussion volume about market trends or trading strategies, and many more use cases. In this video, we will build a Reddit MCP server using Python, compatible with Cloud Desktop, VS Code, and other client applications by utilizing Reddit's publicly API endpoints. That means no API key is needed, just simple GET request calls. Before diving into the MCP server development, make sure you have some basic knowledge of working with Python and MCP servers. If you are completely new to MCP servers, Check out my video on how to get started with MCP server in Python from the link in the description below. Now let me share a quick demo using the Reddit MCP in Cloud Desktop before we dive into the development. Today is Saturday, April 5th, and the market crashed yesterday. If I want to know how people are reacting to the crash, in the prompt I can ask, what are people on Reddit are saying about stock market? Based on the request, Claude knows I'm asking a Reddit specific question and it will select the Reddit functions from the Reddit MCP server to gather the information. And Claude will analyze the data collected from different posts and give me a summary on how people are responding to the market crash without even going to Reddit's website. Another common use case is searching for subreddits that match your interests. For example, Let's say I'm a junior engineer, and I want to find subreddits related to programming. For the prompt, I can say, search 10 subreddits focused on programming learning. And it will call the search subreddits function and return the 10 subreddits it found with the description for each subreddit. Very useful tools if you are a heavy Reddit user like myself. And that's all the intro and demo I'm going to share. Now let's learn how to develop the Reddit MCP server in Python. To create the Reddit MCP server, first, we are going to create a Python class with the Reddit functions. In your project directory, create a folder called tools. Inside the tools directory, create a Python file called redditools.py. We will use the Reddit tools module to organize and store all the Reddit related functions. Now open the Reddit tools module in your code editor. I'm assuming you already have the MCP Python library installed. If not, on your terminal, run the command pip install MCP, MCP CLI to install the packages. In the script, import the required Python dependencies. Next, create the data model classes with pydentic based model class. So, so most of the Reddit API calls will return a lot more fields than necessary. I am only including the fields that I think are useful. And the other reason is to reduce the context size. For our use cases, we only care about Reddit posts and subreddits. So when it comes to defining the data schema, I'm using four data model classes to manage the outputs. The Reddit post class will define the output fields for a single Reddit post record. And Reddit post class will store post records along with other metadata. Same thing for the subreddit and subreddit's data model classes, except those two classes are used to store subreddit records. Now, create a class called Reddit Tools. Inside the class are all the Reddit functions to be used with Cloud Desktop 
BS Code for client applications that support MCP. In the Reddit tool class, I created six functions to search Reddit stuff. I will briefly go through them one by one. The get user agent private method here is actually just a helper function to rotate user agents to avoid getting blocked by Reddit server. The get Reddit post method is probably the most important function in the class. It retrieves posts from a specific subreddit based on the post type you specify. Post type can be either hot, new, or top. The T parameter in Reddit's API stands for time and is specifically used with the top post type. Basically, it filters posts based on specific time frames. When you set T equals hour, you'll get content from just the past hour. With t equals day, you'll see posts from the past 24 hours. For t equals week, you'll get the last seven days of content. The pattern continues with month, year, and all. And limit controls how many items to be returned. The max is 100 items. Here's the setup to construct the endpoint URL. Before and after are used to offset the records. So when we make a request to the subreddit post endpoint, ticket posts are automatically returned at the top of the regular post. To retrieve only the regular posts, we need to filter our posts where the sticky flag is set to true. After that, we can compile the records and return as a Reddit post object with request URL, post items, post count, before and after IDs. And since the after ID is included in Cloud Desktop, if you need to fetch additional posts, Cloud can use the after ID to retrieve the next batch of records. The search post method searches for posts across Reddit or within a specific subreddit. The parameters are very similar to the get Reddit post method, except here we have the sort parameter that lets you prioritize the results to be returned based on either relevance, hot, top, new, or comments. And here's the URL endpoint and parameter setup. And here's the rest of the function. The search subreddits method searches for subreddits by either name or description. The parameters are almost the same as the search post method, except here, I include a parameter to determine whether to include NSFW subreddits in the results. And here I forgot to add the doc string for the include over 18 parameter. Here's the code block to set out the URL endpoint and parameters. And here's the rest of the function. The get subreddit about method fetches metadata of a specific subreddit. Usually I use this function to check how many subscribers and description of a subreddit. And the last two methods get popular posts and get all posts will pull posts from the popular and all subreddits. The setup is exactly the same as the get reddit post method, except the endpoints. Now that we are done with the Reddit tools module, in the tools directory, create a Python file called init.py. We are going to alter the import structure to make the Reddit tools class accessible directly from the tools package. In the inner file, type the import statement like what I have on the screen. The last step is to create the Reddit MCP server. In your project directory, create a Python file called mcpreddit.py
Inside the script, import the FastMCP and Reddit tool classes and create the Reddit tools and FastMCP objects. From the MCP object, use the addTool method to add the Reddit functions. Name and description fields are optional. I like to include them to make function name and description a bit easier to read. I commented out the last three functions since I don't normally use them. And when Cloud Desktop imports the two functions, I think they are counted toward the token usage as well. And now we are officially done with the code development. Make sure you save all the files. To add the MCP server to Cloud Desktop, on your terminal, run the command mcp install mcp reddit.py. You should see the log added server reddit tools to cloud config once the server is added to cloud desktop. On my cloud desktop, I already removed the reddit tools server as you can see here. Go ahead, restart your cloud desktop. If you set up everything correctly, you should see the Reddit tools server is now running. Here, let's test the Reddit MCP server by giving a prompt. Search any post that mention Nintendo Switch 2 on Reddit. And Cloud should be able to use the Reddit tool functions to fulfill the request. That concludes this Reddit MCP server development for Cloud Desktop tutorial. I hope you find the video useful. If you are a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And if there are any tutorial ideas you have in mind and you'd like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.